So just a quick overview and an introduction to corrosion. Corrosion, um, the syllabus actually, I learnt this in third year at university, there's only two forms of corrosion that we have not covered. Everything else you learn here in HSC was third year university for me. Obviously drilled down to a lot higher level. But there's only two forms of corrosion you don't need to cover. Corrosion can be split into localised and bulk corrosion. Bulk corrosion can be aqueous or wet, where it involves waterborne mechanisms, or it can be dry, where it's gaseous corrosion. Look, um, hot, where do, where's it actually apply? Wet is ships, is one of the large ones, bulk corrosion, the entire hull of a ship's corroding. Dry and pipes, dry corrosion, it's usually high temperature and the key one you need to worry about for the syllabus is aircraft engines, turbines. So I'll put turbines. Okay, localised cor corrosion. Crevice and pitting are variations on the same mechanism. Um, it's basically, it's localised corrosion meaning that it only occurs in tiny spots, but it happens really quickly in just a small amount of the material. Stress corrosion cracking. You need three things to happen for stress corrosion cracking. It's really rare. We'll cover it in detail later. Rare, but catastrophic. And galvanic corrosion is the most common form of... most common, let me put my word most there, most common form of corrosion that we go to deal with. So I'm going to now cover them all in a lot more detail.